guys welcome back to my channel I am in such a good mood right now I don't really know why I'm just like really excited to film for some reason I don't know why so as you can see today I'm doing a get ready with me I actually filmed this video yesterday and I didn't really like it that much I don't know it didn't turn out how I wanted it to I didn't even edit it because I was like I don't like this video I'm not even gonna bother so right now I am re-filming it and I just wanted to take some time to kind of just like sit down and talk to you guys because I feel like there's so many things that I've been wanting to talk about and so I figured a get ready with me would be the perfect way to do that because I can just like talk to you guys but you guys also get to see me doing my makeup I can kind of explain my makeup routine to you guys also by the way Amanda and I made these bracelets the video with this watch and this these bracelets is coming um, probably Sunday I'm not sure yet but I'm hoping for Sunday also um, we haven't put the little dot of glue on it yet where like the knot is so I haven't like cut the strings yet um, I'm gonna do that I'm sorry if this is like annoying <laughs> all right so I'm just gonna jump right into this the first thing I'm doing is using this foundation this is the Neutrogena nourishing Longwear makeup I okay let me get a tissue really quick I feel like I always find a way to like make it super messy so I need a tissue I always like wipe off my hand when I'm done with it too I'm gonna try to make this really quick because last time I did this which was yesterday I was just like ranting for way too long okay this looks like a lot but I swear it's not it's like a super thin layer and like it wasn't coming out and then I just take this and put it on my face obviously that's what makeup is dang it I got on my lip oh well okay I think that's like probably enough I try to remember to blend it like on my ears and on my neck by the way these earrings are from what is it called happiness boutique um I really like them they sent me these earrings this video isn't like sponsored or anything but they did send me these and I love them one has a little star on it and one has a little moon on it they're so cute I will try to remember to link them in the description of this video if I don't Someone comment and yell at me to link them in the description and then I'll do it I'm trying to remember to blend it down my neck so that it doesn't look like I'm like two different colors Okay, so I don't remember what I was talking about before I started talking about these earrings All right Well, there's one thing that I really really wanted to talk about first in this video By the way, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer right now and that is my mom's book So I'm sure you guys probably wouldn't know this but um, my mom is actually a published author which is so cool Um, she has a children's book and it's called my new red boots I will insert a picture of it right here I've been meaning to talk about it on my channel for the longest time but I just haven't gotten around to it I don't know why I've really been wanting to I'm not gonna bring it in here right this second because I don't want to get like makeup on it or anything but you will see the picture of it right here it is called my new red boots I can't remember if I said that and it's just this really cute little children's book about a girl that was like getting bullied and I'm not gonna spoil it or anything it's a really cute story and I know my mom is really proud of it and so am I and it has like the cutest little illustrations in it too okay this concealer I swear I'm usually better at blending out my concealer than I am right now this is horrible and I also put it in like weird spots too I don't know why okay whatever that's just what it's gonna look like <laughs> anyways as I was saying if any of you are a little bit like older and have children of your own or if you just have like younger siblings it's not like a book for like toddlers it's more just like kids that actually are able to like read and are learning how and stuff but if any of you guys have any children in your life and want to check it out or if you just want to be nice and support my mom her book is actually on Amazon and I will have it linked in the description so thank you guys so much for those of you who decide to check it out that means the world to me and to my mom for sure now I'm just putting on powder this is actually powder in the Laura Mercier container but it's not Laura Mercier powder because we ran out and then we just put other powder in here <laughs> but I'm just kind of putting this all over my face but mainly like under my eyes I'm trying to hurry this up a little bit because I've already been filming for seven minutes and I don't know how eight minutes it's, oh my god that's crazy how have I been filming for that long I feel like I've been filming for like two minutes okay so the next thing I wanted to talk about in this video is something that I get asked about every two seconds which is how to grow your channel like just tips for like aspiring youtubers I guess you guys ask me about that all the time and I actually do have a 20 minute long video on it or I guess like 18 I think but I do have a video on it already um, where I go like very much into detail it's called my first YouTube page act plus how to have a successful channel in 2019 so so I will have that linked in the description if you guys want to check that out But there are a few things that I do want to say to anyone who actually wants to start a channel There are three things I think you guys should know or things that you should qualities that you should have or just think about uh, The first thing I want to talk about is time management when it comes to YouTube time management is extremely important because editing filming all that stuff uploading takes 
a very very long time way longer than you would think editing videos oh my god it takes so so long especially when you do a good job of course it depends on the video that you're editing and the length of the video but you really do need to take into consideration how much time you actually have on your hands for a youtube channel because if you're serious about it i'm using the anastasia beverly hills contour kit by the way if you're serious about it just make sure you have enough time for it because if you don't i swear your channel will not like be as good as it could potentially be if you really put in the time so if you don't have time for it I don't know how you're gonna like maintain it you could try but like time management is super important when it comes to YouTube like I'll have friends that text me and be like hey I want to start a YouTube channel like do you have any like advice or anything I'm like okay well you better like have time for it because if you don't then it's not gonna work out because YouTube takes a lot longer than people really think and it is a very difficult job it's a great job to have I don't really like to think of it as like a job because it's like it's my passion but like at the end of the day it's it's kind of like a job too because you have to work really really hard and this is like my part-time job right now this is like my summer job this is why I'm just like really like trying to get out all the videos that I can and I'm not just like trying to like spit out videos I'm trying to make good content not just like a lot if that makes sense like quality over quantity but like I'm trying to do kind of like a ton of quality videos you know what I mean because I have more time for it now okay I'm getting off topic first thing I wanted to talk about was time management second thing is self-discipline that is extremely important when it comes to YouTube because with regular jobs teenagers go into work at a certain time They have to be there at a certain time. They clock out at a certain time They have a boss that tells them everything that they need to do and then they do it with YouTube That's not the case You are your own boss You work on your own time and you do whatever you want now That might sound like a very good thing But you have to be so good at disciplining yourself to actually do the work because sometimes I don't feel like editing Sometimes I don't feel like filming but I just really have to discipline myself and tell myself like if you want this YouTube channel Channel, and if you're truly passionate about it you really need to like step up your game and like discipline yourself and get yourself to film get yourself to edit because I never want to have to put up videos late I never want to have to skip a week or anything just because I'm lazy or something like if I skip a week it's because it's absolutely necessary but if not then like that means I'm working hard and I'm disciplining myself so you have to be really good at self-discipline if you're not like a person that's good at that I will say YouTube is going to be more difficult for you and then the third thing I'm talking about by the way I'm using the James Charles palette right now. I don't really know what I'm doing with my eyeshadow. I'm just gonna throw on some random colors and hope it looks good. That's what I usually do. What was I saying? Oh yeah, so the third thing I wanted to talk about is you have to be a strong person to do YouTube because I was talking about this with my best friend Amanda. Um, we were saying how, not just like with YouTube, but just like in general, self-esteem is something that is so, so difficult to build up and it takes a lot of time to build up and a lot of work, but it can be destroyed in like a split second. Like for example, I could have like a thousand comments that are totally positive so sweet but then there will be one negative comment and it'll just like ruin the whole thing for me I'll be like man I spent so much time and hard work on this video and then someone just had to go leave a negative comment it's just hard because you're gonna get comments that you don't like it's bound to happen I haven't really gotten like hate but there's just comments that I see that are just like did you really have to leave that comment like that was just like negative it didn't need to be here you know what I mean so I don't know you just have to be like secure with who you are I guess and you can't let other people get in your way you really can't because nobody's like made fun of me but it's just like I've never heard of someone like talking bad about my YouTube channel but I know it probably has happened before I'm not stupid but I'm okay with that because I work so hard on it I love it it's my passion and I've just learned to accept the fact that not everyone's gonna like what you're doing but I'm not forcing anyone to watch my channel I'm not forcing any of you guys to subscribe or like my videos or anything like you can do what you want you don't have to watch me you don't have to be watching this right now like if you're the type of person that's gonna go hate on my videos and like talk bad about me behind my back why are you watching this right now then like why are you spending the time watching my video right now clearly you're interested enough to be watching this right now you know what I mean so that is something that I really wanted to talk to you guys about just the fact that like you need to not allow other people to change the way you see YouTube because people will try to for sure but yeah so those tips that I just gave you guys are kind of more that have to do with like mindset not really like technical things that you can do that will grow your channel again I have an 18 minute long video on that it'll be linked in the description every comment has something to do with like how to grow your channel and I'm like 
I got you. I have a video on it. But yeah, so that's pretty much it about the whole YouTube how to grow your channel thing. Remember the three things that I talked about, which is just time management, self-discipline, and being a strong person and learning how to deal with negative people or people who may not always see your point of view or agree with you. All right, moving on. What's the next thing I wanted to talk about? Um, I asked you guys like what I should talk about on the community tab of my channel and like the number one thing that you guys said was the how to grow your channel thing. But then the next thing that I saw the most was people asking about what I'm gonna do after I graduate because I'm a senior now. I'm gonna graduate high school soon. That's crazy. And people are just wondering what I'm gonna do after high school. And the answer to that is I have absolutely no idea. I'm going to college, but I have no idea where. Like I, I really don't know. So um, there's your answer to that. I don't know what I'm majoring in. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, yeah, right now I'm just gonna do some eyeliner. Oh my god, I'm like scared. I always mess up eyeliner. Whenever I do it on camera, I mess it up. Okay, so let's see if I mess it up today. Not that bad. Okay, it's like it's like whatever. I'm not good at eyeliner. Please do not come for me right now. I'm horrible at eyeliner, so just don't judge me. Keep the comments to yourself about how bad I am at eyeliner, please. Okay, that's the best it's gonna get right now. The only problem is now I have to do the exact same thing on the other side. Uh, let's see how that goes. Okay. Oh god. Oh no, 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 no. This isn't good. Good. This is not good. Not good. Oh no. Oh no. Like in the close-up mirror, it didn't look as bad, but like in the far away mirror, oh, that's not good. That's not good. I don't care. I really don't care. I feel like whenever I put mascara on, my eyeliner always looks just a tiny bit better because you can't see it as much. By the way, I used the Ico London Precise Smudge Proof Pitch Black Liner, I guess. I think this came in a birch box that my mom got and she gave it to me, so I just took it. Now I'm gonna curl my lashes. But anyways, I just talked about college. Um, um, oh, another thing I wanted to talk about is that I think I might be upgrading to Final Cut Pro. I haven't fully like decided yet because that's kind of a big decision to make because it's $300. That's an investment, but it's for my YouTube channel. So like, I think it would be worth it for sure. But I just hope that I like it. Um, that's the only thing because if I don't like it, how am I going to like, how do I, like I, I can't return it, right? Like, I don't think so. I don't really know. iMovie has been working well for me, but it's just like, I want to step up my editing game because I feel like iMovie is very limiting or at least it can be. Like there's a lot of things that you can do on it, but you kind of have to like cheat your way into it. Like for example, whenever I put text on the screen, that's not through like iMovie. Like it's it's through iMovie, but it's hard to explain. Like it's not like one of the um like already like programmed like presets. When I put on like titles on the screen, I, this is probably not making sense at all. Like I have to kind of cheat my way into it. I have to like save this picture, make it a PNG, edit it, like crop it, do all this stuff, and then insert it as a picture. Oh my god, my camera's about to die. Are you kidding me? If it cuts me off oh well i'm gonna keep recording until it dies i'm almost done with my makeup anyways but basically i might upgrade to final cut pro please let me know what you guys think about that if you think it's worth it there i mean there is a lot you can do on imovie but at the same time final cut pro just like i don't know i feel like i can do a lot of cool things on there and i would really like to learn how to edit with it and it's just like a good way to really step up my game i guess so i think i might do that but again it is 300 dollars, so that is like a big decision to make i'm not just gonna like drop 300 dollars easily now I'm just using a clear brow gel by Urban Decay. I'm trying to do this really fast now because I know my camera's gonna die and I wanna have time to do an outro without having to stop filming. Oh my god, and it's gonna stop because I'm gonna run out of like, I've been filming for like 23 minutes so it's gonna stop recording. Okay, it always stops at like 23 minutes. Almost done, almost done. Oh my god, let's see if I can end this before it like ends it for me. Okay, I, I'm using the highlighter in the James Charles palette. Um, all right, I'm done with my makeup. Oh crap, I need to use setting spray. And my lips, oh my gosh. Ah, I, can, I need to get my lip gloss. I'm like slurring my words now because I'm like trying to do this as fast as I can. It's gonna like cut me off in like 20 seconds. Oh no, it's gonna cut me off. Okay, hold on. I need to stop it and start again. All right, there we go. My camera does this thing where it'll like cut off after like 23 minutes or something or like maybe like 24 minutes. I don't know why. I think I can change that, but I don't know. I probably sound really dumb right now because you guys are probably like, you're dumb. You could literally just change that in the settings, but whatever. So this is my finished makeup. I am not a makeup artist. Please don't judge me. This is just how it turned out. So I think I talked about a lot of things that I wanted to cover. Oh, there's one thing that I didn't talk about that I really wanted to talk about. So there's a YouTuber that I want to shout out. Her name is Hannah Elise and she is so good at editing. Like it's crazy. She's the person that was kind of like inspiring me to get Final Cut Pro because I love her editing. It was crazy the other day. Like I think I might've slid up on one of her stories or something and like she replied back and like we, we follow each other and like I didn't know that she knew who I was and then she didn't know that I knew who she was and like 
Oh my gosh, and she's just like so cool. Like I've been watching her videos today. I love them so much. So I don't know, I just kind of wanted to shout her out. Also, in an upcoming vlog, I'm gonna be shouting out some fan accounts that I've noticed that are just so cool and so sweet. I've been DMing some of you guys and you guys are literally the best. You guys are so sweet. So I'm probably gonna be shouting out some people in an upcoming video, I don't know when. But uh, yeah, I should probably end this before my camera dies. If you guys want to give this video a thumbs up, that would be very, very, very much appreciated. I should go more into detail about that. All right, guys. Guys, guess who's filming on their phone right now? My camera just died, so I wanted to finish this clip really quick before I forgot what I was gonna say. So I'm sorry for the quality right now, but I just wanted to do this really quick. One last thing that I wanted to talk about like super quickly, it really does make a difference when you guys like and comment on people's videos. Um, that actually does help out a lot. People aren't just saying that to like get more likes or anything, like get more clout or something like that. Like no, it actually really helps out in terms of like just having success on YouTube. When you guys like and comment and basically just like engage with our videos that helps us out so much so thank you guys so much if you do like and comment you totally don't have to if you don't want to but when you do it really really does make a difference so thank you and that's why youtubers always say like you guys want to like this video it really helped me out that would be awesome blah 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 um if you guys want to subscribe that would be really cool too so thank you guys so much there's so much more that i want to talk about but um i don't want to make this video too long once again i want to remind you if you want to check out my mom's book it's going to be in the description so thank you to those of you who want to check it out I appreciate it so much and yeah I'm gonna stop talking I made this outro so long I am so sorry and I'm sorry about the iPhone quality once again but yeah that's about it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching if you watched up until this point comment this I don't know what it's gonna say yet it'll be a surprise okay I will see you guys on Sunday with another video bye guys <laughs>